What's good? What's good? We are back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Picker, host of the Paul Picker Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Commonsense Podcast, your source for music, sports, politics, world events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to this video about this New Mexico governor that's overstepping and overreaching with a anti-gun ban, and um, I guess sheriffs said that they're not going to enforce it as it's unconstitutional but before we do that though let's get into a word from promo palace dot biz marketing and promotion then look no further than promo palace llc your one-stop shop for all music promotion services services include spotify playlist pitching youtube yep. video promotion record yep. pool promotion yep. blog placements yep. radio airplay promotion yep. soundcloud promotion and yep. much more with over 2,000 customers and over 10 years of experience in online promotion, Promo Palace LLC is a company you can trust. For more info, please go to promopalace.biz. See you there. That's right. You heard a beautiful lady for the online marketing and promotions for your music, product, brand, or service. Please go to promopalace.biz. And we also have a coupon code. Get 15% off music promo at promopalace.biz. Use coupon code Labor Day 2020 three as that's the last coupon code that was generated okay let's get into it um far left radicals trying to ban guns what's new officials and gun rights groups at least two organizations have filed lawsuits arguing that it violates the second amendment and over the weekend some new mexicans openly defied this mandate during a protest we all agree that the, the governor has overstepped her authority and is actually in violation of the law. I don't know what her thought process was that she suddenly thought she could trample the Second Amendment. Joining us now for her first national televised interview since issuing this. I could tell you what her thought process was. Uh, she didn't have no thought process because these people, they just want to dictate shit. They just want to be dictators. They want to control your lives because they think you're not smart enough to make decisions for yourself. This order is the governor of New Mexico, Michelle Lujan Grisham. Governor, thank you. And you know what? Before she gets into it, of course, of course, it had to be a white liberal woman. White liberal women are the biggest problem in this fucking country as far as I'm concerned. Like, they're the worst politically. They're delusional as fuck, and they don't live in reality. But let's keep it moving for your time this morning and let's get to exactly that we just heard from the sheriff he joins the attorney general and others who say they won't enforce it it's unconstitutional why do it if it can't be enforced well that's their opinion they have no oh no 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 wrong white liberal woman that's not their opinion it's a fact it's the law it's the second amendment like this is the thing man <laughs> If we're clearly going to attack the very first two amendments, which I think are probably the most important amendments is the very first two. No amendment after that matters. They hold no weight. If we're gonna eradicate the very first two amendments, every amendment after that, it holds no weight. They should all just be wiped off the face of the earth. And if we're gonna get rid of the very first two, no bold actions. They don't have any plans for reducing gun violence. Every single aspect. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. so her plan is, <laughs> she's talking about plans. So let, let, let's talk about what her plan leads to. Her plan leads to, okay, taking away all the legal guns. What about the criminals that have their guns still? What about their guns? Uh, so if you take away, if you don't allow anybody to have legal guns anymore and all the criminals still got their guns, what does that make everybody that doesn't have legal guns no more to protect themselves? Uh, what's that V word that, what's that V word that um, liberals use and Democrats use very well? Uh, what's that V, that V word? Victims, victims. It makes everybody a fucking victim. That's the thing. Their solution, the Democratic solution is everybody's a fucking victim of gun violence, getting 
robbed by criminals, pistol whipped by criminals, killed by criminals, having criminals run up in your house, your business or whatever. Because their solution is the dumbest. In terms of preventing gun violence? No, no, you're... I swear I want to rip my hair, hair out my head right now, man. I just want to take this hat off and just throw it across the room. This idea that you get rid of everybody's guns that have them legally, and that's going to get rid of gun violence, is horse shit. It's horse shit. It's horse shit. It, it, I mean, we're, we're, uh, we're funds, walking deep in it. Uh, uh, crime labs, a uh, more than 150 million for retention bonuses and recruitment of new police officers. I'm focused on one thing. Uh, we have the third highest gun related injuries uh, in the country. 90%. All right, guys. Yeah, that one thing she's focused on is dictatorship, not giving you freedom of choice. Like, that's the thing. They literally got to take away the first amendment so they could take away your second. That's what people don't realize. They have to take away your first amendment so they can take away your second. That's how it works. Hey, so we got to do a follow-up on the story out of New Mexico that is getting national attention because it reveals exactly what the Democrats want to do that they're pretending that they don't want to do, but this is what they want to do when it comes to this issue of the second amendment. And, and before he finishes, I hate to keep cutting it off. They keep attacking the First and Second Amendment. I mean, you're asking for a civil war. You're begging for it. You're pretty much begging for it. You're calling for it. And Tim Pool, he talks about it heavily. I hear him always talking about he thinks it's going to be civil war, civil strife, or something in that nature. I would bet the over that we're going to be have a civil war in our lifetime if it keeps going this way. If you keep trying to shame people into accepting things that some people will – some things that should never be accepted, as far as I'm concerned. And guns in this country, self-defense, they actually want to take away your right to self-defense, okay? They want to take away your guns. They do not believe that responsible citizens, law-abiding gun carriers, they do not believe that you are responsible enough to carry around a firearm, okay? They are essentially siding with criminals and letting criminals know that hey the more crimes that you commit the more we're going to disarm the public so that you can commit more crimes uh because criminals don't follow laws this is why they're criminals they're going to get access to guns anyways and the only thing that democrats want to do is to leave citizens defense defenseless against criminals okay and i think that's exactly Sounds like something I just said. Exactly what is happening here out in New Mexico as um, the governor there, Miss Michelle Grissom, uh, she is essentially pushing what she knows is an unconstitutional public health order to ban all guns, okay, concealed and open carry in certain parts of the state in response to the fact that she has no clue how to deal with the gang violence and criminals in her state and again this is so radical okay so blatantly so her solution to dealing with gang violence is take away the guns from all the people that legally have them well you know what's so dumb about that is stupid white liberal lady gangs don't have legal guns all their guns are illegal stupid white liberal lady I mean, I think these people were all dropped on their heads as babies like multiple fucking times, man. Like nobody, none of these people, they don't think about these ideas, these radical ideas past their own ass. They just shout it to the rooftops. Don't think about any effect, cause or effects it may have, you know. Let's just take away everybody's guns that got them legally. And, you know, criminals would be licking their chops 
because overnight they'll just be getting paydays. Like you won't even be able to go to the grocery store. You won't be able to go check your mail if they banned all legal guns. All the criminals, they they will be looking. They be doing this, licking their chops. We about to have a payday up in this bitch. No more legal guns. We about to make all these bitches victims. That's their solution. Unconstitutional that you even have uh, people like David Hogg, whose whole career is basically advocating to ban guns, coming out and saying, hey, you're going a little bit too far, okay? You're getting too radical, too openly radical in regards to our long-term agenda. He says, quote, I support gun safety, but there is no such thing as a state public health emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution. Yeah, he actually really wants to repeal the Second Amendment. He doesn't want to overtly just not follow the Constitution. But again, don't get it twisted here, right? In regards to where these people actually stand, okay? David Hogg, if he could have it his way, he would take away all our guns, except maybe, I don't know, grandpa's double barrel shotgun that he uses for self-defense at his farm right i mean i'm just saying that's the ideal world that liberals would would live in you also see but this is the problem with that people really fail to realize the true purpose of the second amendment it's not so it, yes it, it has to do with defending you know, being able to defend your, your house, your home, your family, your life. But more importantly, is to defend yourself against governors like this new Mexico white liberal dictator governor, this tyrant, tyrant. It's to defend ourselves against tyrants and tyrannical, you know, rule of law. or. The, well, when you take away the laws, I mean, I guess there ain't no laws. You know, they, like, their idea is we would have to bring a knife to a gunfight every single time. Like that saying, you brought a knife to a gunfight? That would be the norm. You would have no fucking choice. You'd have no choice. It's crazy. I have this guy, Ted Lou, who is also an anti-gun zealot. He says, I support gun safety laws. However, this order from the governor of New Mexico violates the U.S. Constitution. No state in the union can suspend the federal constitution. There is no such thing as a state public health uh, emergency exception to the U.S. Constitution. Yeah. You know what? And Foreman, Greg Foreman's right on this. It's not like they're saying this because... They totally, you know, believe what they're saying. The only reason they're saying this is because they know, okay, these guys really want to get rid of guns. And like he said, Greg said, okay, one of the guys maybe want us to just keep guns for like hunting purposes. Grandpa's old shotgun. Okay, but the only reason they're really saying this is because they know if you get rid of the Second Amendment, you got to get rid of the first. This shit goes hand in hand. To get rid of the First Amendment, you got to get rid of the second. And to get rid of the Second Amendment, you got to get rid of the first. These things go hand in hand, man. And that's the thing. These jackasses and morons ain't going to be able to spew their jackass and moronic, you know, views if the Second Amendment's gone. They know it ain't going to happen because the First Amendment's going to be gone too. Because once they take away our guns, then we ain't going to be able to say shit no more. Yeah, so again, clearly uh, this governor, the state governor is overstepping her boundaries as a governor, okay? And um, again, Democrats are pushing back against it because it's too overtly radical, okay? It's too overtly radical. Um and you even have her own law enforcement, the local sheriffs and police that have come out and rejected following this order repeatedly, okay, after being asked about whether or not they're going to go along with this. Take a look. Let me be clear. I hold my standards high, and I do not or never will hedge on what is right. 
and I take my oath seriously. In reference to concealed carry and open carry, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office will not enforce this segment of the order. While I understand the urgency, the temporary ban challenges the foundations of our Constitution. Let me stop right there. He said temporary ban. I want to point something out. If you think that it would just be a temporary ban, you're sadly mistaken. Wake up, smell the Folgers. You're dumping in a bag of bricks. Because if this guy was saying the complete opposite, that he's going to enforce it, it wouldn't be temporary. It would be permanent. I think this crazy-ass white liberal, she definitely didn't think about this. She probably threw it out there to see what the reaction it might get. But I don't know if she really thought this was going to go through. But most importantly, it is unconstitutional. My oath ding, is ding, to ding, protect ding, ding. the Constitution, and that is what I will do. The governor made it clear in her press conference. She knew we as law enforcement did not agree with the order, and as a result, this was solely her decision. What does that sound like? A dictator. A dictator. That's what it sounds like. Solely her decision. It's not solely her decision to make. Other than this ban being unconstitutional, here are other reasons why I will not enforce the order. One, what many forget, is I have enough violence here in Burnley Oak County. I do not want to have political violence towards my deputies or here in Bernalillo County. My job is to keep the peace and to make sure that the citizens of Bernalillo County are safe and I do not believe that this order will help me do so. I'm a law enforcement professional. This order will not do anything to curb gun violence other than punish law-abiding citizens from their constitutional right to self-defense. Let me give you a personal story. Last week, as I'm sitting here as the city sheriff, I get a phone call that my brother also was. I hate to stop him again, but like he said, it's all it's going to do is punish law abiding citizens and reward the criminals. The victim of gun violence last week that many of you do not know. While he and my nephew were sitting in their car, they were shot at and their vehicle was impacted by numerous rounds. How can I, as a sheriff, tell him to put his firearms away? and not be able to protect himself. Yeah, so you've seen that, you heard that, okay? The sheriff is standing up for the Constitution, okay? He is doubling and tripling down on the fact that, hey, we're not going to enforce this, okay? This is just too overtly unconstitutional. We're not going along with it. You're putting law-abiding citizens in danger. However, this is what Miss uh, Michelle Grisham's response was to the fact that uh, the local sheriffs uh, are not going along with this. She's essentially doubling and tripling down on her stance as well. On one thing, uh, we have the third highest gun-related injuries uh, in the country, 90% higher than the mm -hmm. national average. We lost 143 children between 2017 and 2021. It is unacceptable and it calls for immediate and swift and bold action. And frankly, the evidence bears out over and over again. Fewer guns on the streets makes everyone safer and I'm focused on everyone's constitutional right. The problem is the fewer guns on the streets she's talking about is the illegal ones. The illegal ones, not the legal ones. These people, I mean, take a pin, poke her in the head, and fucking air will come out like a balloon, man. This bitch has no brain cells. Okay, yes, we, we know you need less guns on the streets, but the guns are the illegal ones, not the legal ones. These people are so fucking ass backwards, man. It's not it, just those the NRA says I should be focused on. Yeah, it's not just the NRA. Here's one other concern from the sheriff. Here's what he told my colleague Caitlin Collins last night. 
in a couple of months or a year down the road, we're the ones stuck in court and we're the ones getting sued over all of these infringement of uh, rights and all these other court battles when I could be focusing so much more on crime. Has any law enforcement officer in Albuquerque or the county actually enforced this yet? Well, we haven't uh, have issued any civil penalties, but that doesn't mean that we're not and that we don't have the ability to do that. But that's this a no. No, you don't have the ability to do this. It's against the law. It's, it's crazy. It's like we talk about police reform and this white liberal woman is like, hey, you know, guess what? police i'm gonna you know do this anti-gun ban and you know even though you're supposed to be the law enforcers we want you to go ahead and you know break the law across the board on this one we want every single cop to just break the law and do what's unconstitutional on this one because she's thinking with emotions she's thinking this is this decision is based off of emotions. Oh, this is right. The pushback I get from every single well, to know this minute, but that doesn't mean that we aren't, and it doesn't mean that we don't have additional police presence. And if not this bold action, making sure mm -hmm. that you're safe going to the grocery store, you're safe going to a baseball game, you're safe walking on a hiking trail. There are individuals, including young people, where it's illegal today to have a handgun openly carrying handguns my question to law enforcement is where are you in that the, once again the problem with this is gang and gun violence is it from the people that are open carrying i guarantee the majority of the gang and gun violence is probably with people who have obtained their gun illegally like, we got to stop comparing apples to oranges. That's what you're doing here when you're comparing legal guns to illegal guns. It's like trying, you know, it's like comparing legal immigrants to illegal immigrants. Young 11-year-old, Froylin Viegas, yeah. 17 rounds were fired into that gun emotions it's, it's emotions see she she's all she's talking about is young kids young kids she don't care about adults getting killed apparently Thirty-five thousand rounds are fired at least annually in albuquerque alone you are not i guarantee once again it's not by legal gun owner safe going to work getting your prescription drugs or going and to a public park and it wasn't just about a cooling off period it's about making sure that everyone is safer while we do bolder work to get at both the drug epidemic and the gun violence epidemic okay yeah bolder work would be actually lock up fucking criminals and gangsters and and whatnot. But see, that's the thing. Democrats don't want to lock up criminals. They want to reward them. They want to enable them. Um, yeah, I've really heard enough on this matter. It's women like this that it's the biggest problem with the with politics in the country today. It, it really is. Yes, yes, you need to have bolder actions, but you don't need to go after the legal law-abiding citizens and make them victims. I, I really don't... I really don't get, you know, what's the ultimate goal of these people when they say, let's get rid of all the legal guns and just leave the criminals with guns. I don't really get the goal of that. And as a person who is into Edward Bernays, the king of PR, and just knowing how he was a person they used to help control the world and control people, I don't really see how this fits in their scheme. I don't see how this, this crazy, radical, civil unrest fits in their scheme. I really don't. Um... So once again, I'll thank y'all for tuning in. Um, Paul Pinkett Podcast. Don't forget the video version goes to YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Rumble, BitChute, 
Twitter, LinkedIn, audio version goes to Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer, TuneIn, Stitcher, Slacker, iHeartRadio, Player FM, and much more. And we got a new outro, so we're going to play a new outro for the day, see how it looks, see how it goes. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Peace, and I'm out. Thank you.